text objects. An amazing idea in Vim, but at least for me, there aren't enough text objects. There is one for sentence, which is S. Here I just deleted the sentence. Uh, then your usual brackets, uh, one for like squirrely brackets, I guess. Then one for this as well. <clears throat> then T for tags. Oh, and obviously W for word, then big W for big word stuff like that however there are many missing in my opinion the biggest one of which being a code block so this new method which is the constructor essentially not a hotkey anyway any function or maybe an if statement or a while loop like here say i want to delete this block what I would have to do usually is uh, delete a or around, which is a mnemonic that I learned recently, capital B and then DD. So two actions that I have to do to delete a block, which is kind of whack in my opinion. So that's why I created my own text object. So delete inside uh, brackets. So delete inside brackets, boom. That code block got deleted. And then if I do delete around those brackets, it also deletes another line. I guess this is either not visible or doesn't work how I think it does. Let's check that out. So that was with I, but that I guess it doesn't work like I expect it to. Well, nevertheless, boom. This is something that I find myself needing quite often. And well, finally, I now have it. I am by no means a Vim script master. I don't even understand it like 5%, probably. However, uh, I could make this text object pretty easily. How? Well, let me show that off. Turns out, it's not that difficult. Essentially, for text objects, what do you need to do? You need to somehow select what you want to be the text object. So here's a remap for visual mode. When in visual mode, you just do inside or around uh, and whatever symbol you decide to use for your text object and then you just select it as easy as that the key for this is so you don't have to always use visual mode is oh no remap what is O? Oh? it's for the operate operator pending mode once again what is that so I press Y. Now, whatever else I type in here is in operator pending mode. The reason why, say, inside Word works here but wouldn't here is because it's only remapped to the operator pending mode. So when you do an action and then provide something to it, that's operator pending and that's how uh, text objects are implemented it's essentially just a remap for the operate operator pending mode which is i and some character and then you have to find some way to select it well to do this uh, you couldn't just uh, remove this and start selecting because you already have some command and uh, you're not really in normal mode, you're mid a command. 
But if you use the normal command, uh, then you can execute whatever you want. So say you do y and then uh, normal, blah, 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 and then you can start selecting, which is exactly what I'm doing here. Now, let's actually show off how this works. In case you're interested as, as to how I'm doing this, I actually have a video on that. It's written in not a hotkey as usual. So here we are. Uh, one dis disclaimer, we either have to be in the brackets, so in this place, for example, or on the bracket. Otherwise, this uh, text object won't work. So essentially, it uses the text object of uh, inside brackets or around brackets. So let's go bit by bit. So first, you do V for visual around curly brackets. Cool. We're now uh, at the end of the block. Cool. Now, for inside, we do to the end, then O to go to the other end of the selection. In case you didn't know this, you can do this. I was flabbergasted when I learned this. I generally don't use visual mode that much, but this is definitely useful. And then do zero. Another way to do this would be uh, capital V for visual line selection. Um, but I guess I just didn't do that. I forget the reasoning. Either way, boom, we now selected this block entirely. And when we do D, for example, we just deleted that block. Cool. Uh, and the reason why the other line implementation didn't work is because it's supposed to do one thing that I thought it did, but it doesn't. Nevertheless, um, that I'm not sure how to make properly to make the around grab the lines there. But that's it. And then essentially you will end up having four remaps for every text object, if you want to have I and A variants, um, and obviously you would want this to work both in visual mode in and in operator pending. That's all you have to do. No ridiculous functions written in fucking Vim script. I don't even want to learn it, honestly. And I used HKV1 before, so yeah. That's literally all you need. If you can come up with a way to consistently select what you want to operate on, then that's pretty easy to make your own text object. How did I learn about this? I googled and then came across some random blog post where essentially said, all you have to do is somehow select it. And I'm like, Oh, well now I know, and now you know too. If you didn't know about this, leave a like, leave a comment, maybe you know something that we don't. Um, and if you like my videos, check them out and subscribe. Thank you for watching and goodbye.